Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic in X Rule Maths video. In this video we're looking at how we can find the nth term of a geometric sequence. So what is a geometric sequence? A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers that follow a special pattern and that pattern is that each number is um, related to the previous one by a multiplication. So I'll give you an example. Something like the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. This is a geometric sequence, not arithmetic. So an arithmetic sequence is where the difference between each term is a constant. So for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that would be arithmetic. Geometric though, you see the distance, the difference between each term is not a constant, but it is multiplicatively a constant. It's two, you're doubling every term. So this would be a geometric sequence. Notice how you just times by two to get to each one. So um, here's an example of another one. You could have, let's say, 27, 9, 3, 1, 1 third, 1 ninth, etc. This would also be a geometric sequence because each term has been multiplied by a third to get to the next one. So 27 times a third is 9, 9 times a third is 3, 1 times a a th a three times a third is one, one times a third is a third, a third times a third is a ninth, etc. So this is also a geometric sequence as well. As long as the, um, essentially, uh, the ratio between each um, term is the same, then it's geometric. So in general, we can say, in general, that a geometric sequence... follows this pattern. The first term is a, that's always the first term, regardless of whether it's arithmetic or geometric, it's a. Now for an arithmetic sequence, the next term would be a plus d. This time though, it's a times whatever the common ratio is, r. So for example, um, r in the first example was two. In the second example, it was a third, etc. And then each term is simply multiplied by r again. So it's ar times r, so ar squared. Then ar times r times r, so ar cubed, etc. And this just goes on. So how do you find the nth term? Well, notice they all have a's in, so the nth term. And remember, we use the symbol u sub n typically for the nth term it's definitely going to have an a in it because every term has an a in it it's also going to have an r in it because every term has an r in it and if we want the nth term well notice how the r um, is the power of the r is offset by one compared to the term that it is so this is the first term the second term the third term the fourth the fifth but notice how the power you see of r is one less than the number term that it is which means that in general the nth term is a r to the power of n minus one for example if you wanted the let's say fifth term it would be a r to the four and you can literally you can see it here uh, we have literally got this example right here the fifth term here is a r to the four. And of course, just again to clarify, a is the first term in the sequence of numbers and r is the common ratio. So for example, let's say that we wanted to figure out in the second sequence that we did, which was again, 27, 9, 3, 1, 1 third, etc. Let's say I wanted to know what the fifth term uh, was. Actually, no, let's do let's do the sixth term. We should expect it to be um, a ninth, but let's test it out. 
So the sixth term is going to be a, so 27, that's the first term, multiplied by the common ratio, the common ratio is one third, to the power of, well, we want the sixth term, so it's to the power of six minus one, which is five. So this ends up being 27 times a third to the power of five, which is one over 243. This becomes 27 over 243. 27 divided by 243 is 1 over 9. Uh, therefore that, and it checks out, right? Because we can see clearly that the sixth term would be a ninth and uh, the, the formula is agreeing with us. So that is where the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence uh, comes from and it's also how to use it. If you found this video helpful, thank you so much for watching it. Share, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Highly appreciate whatever you do to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.